All right, so I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm thinking about. I did already put my nails on, so I'll show you again what I use. I'll link this stuff for you. So Panda Desert is where I get my full size tips. So they come, I think there's 600 in here. I don't use all the sizes. That once I fit them, I write on the top what my sizes are so I know. Sometimes I do have to file them to get them, like if I need to file them on the side a little bit. Okay, so I told you at the haul we were gonna do, an, we were gonna use a stamp set. So I decided to do, I'm gonna do this tree one. You're gonna see the design. I'll put it on the side of this screen here. Uh, so I'm gonna go off of that for inspiration. So I'm going to, oh, I need my reading glass. <laughs> that would help. Okay, so I'm gonna do this design. And I'm also gonna, it's gonna be a little different and then I'm gonna use, obviously we're gonna use greens and whites for this design and I might incorporate that mistletoe in here. So I did get this stamper, but it's broken. So A, there should not be any of, so when you pop these clear jelly stampers, the point of these are, so when you're stamping, you can see the image clear on your nail. Well, now all these hearts, because it broke, I'm gonna email, um, I'm gonna email a clear jelly stamper because I took it off and it's broken here um, and all the hearts fell all over me and then it's in the way of what I'm doing so that's not how it's supposed to be this is a really old one I have from clear jelly stamper so this is how it should be and I don't use this unless I'm doing certain things because it's stained now so I usually do and I have another brand back there okay so I don't know if we're gonna incorporate both of these colors and then this one I got off um, Amazon. So these are hard gels. All the gels I use are hard gels. They harden like acrylic. Um, but I'm going to use this green glitter because I don't have a green glitter besides this. I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to incorporate this green. These are flakes. Um, and these, they're really cool. I might incorporate, because one of the nails I'm thinking about doing like a snow a snow scene I might incorporate these in the background so I did want to pull those and then over here I have all the stamping colors so I'm thinking I'm going to use these greens I'll show you when I get there and red so those are the colors I'm going to use I do have some more but I don't think I'm going to use these four I think it's going to be these six I may not use all of those but I did want to pull all my greens and all my reds I have a dotting tool for the design so generally how I do this is I'm going to buff my nails so with this I usually buff my nails and get them nice and cleaned up because I'm not going to show you how I put these on um, maybe in another video I will um, there is a lot of tutorials on the Painted Deserts Instagram, but I use this and it's almost gone. I have a new one I ordered and this is her cactus jelly and you basically put this on and then push the nail, the nail on and then you cure it for 60 seconds and that makes it set on your nail. Now, I do use this from Amazon. It's a peel off base coat. So I put this on, then I put on the tip, or the full full cover nail, because when I work this weekend, my nails are a little too long. So my nails are only gonna be on for six days and I'm gonna take them off. When you put this on, once I soak it in either warm water or a little bit of acetone, I can just pop these nails off. I don't generally do this if I want my nails to last a week or two because this isn't meant to be on there like it's meant to peel off your nail tips I only use this when I'm only going to be doing like and this is longer for me I don't like doing any like much longer than this for my nails I'm trying to get it to go to this other mode which it's supposed to but it's really not doing it right now so like I said I try to do um I try to only use this if I'm not gonna wear my nails real long so I don't I'm just gonna I'll show you guys what I'm doing but I'm gonna speed it up okay so I did file those near the nail bed 
And then I'm just gonna buff the nails to make sure they're nice and soft and like anything that going on it will stick. So what I'm thinking for my thumbs, I usually like to do a glitter. So I don't know that I'm going to set, well, I don't think I'm gonna set down a base. So normally my gel is in a pot, but these ones for whatever reason came, oh, this should work good, yeah. Because this actually has pigment in it, it's actually gonna work well. And I try to do my thumb because in videos and stuff, it's nice to have um, the thumbs have glitter on them because it's prettier, right? <laughs> to leave this because it's dense enough it's not thick on my nail and I'm gonna put a top like not a top coat I'll show you what I'm gonna put over it so I'm actually gonna leave this and I'm actually gonna do these nails matte so this is an a soft gel cover uh, this I got these actually from Ulta because these are like what you can just cover your whole nail with so what this does is it protects the glitter so I'm gonna push all that glitter down and then I'm actually just gonna put this over it and cure it because then this will protect it so I won't be able to feel any of the um, the glitter so it'll cure and make this layer basically flat <laughs> It's just a color. It's co-starring. It's a white with like a little bit of a shimmer in it. So I can just do white, but I like doing this color. So it's just got a little bit of shimmer in it. So I'm actually going to do that on several of my nails because I want some trees on my nails. I have an idea. <laughs> So I want to do something, but I have an idea. So I'm going to do that stamp all over this one, but I have an idea for some trees on this. And again, with this one, it's got a little bit of the shimmer. Now what I could do is I can also paint on the inside of this to help with the opaqueness. But I'm going to cure this and we're going to go from there. Try this one and see what it looks like. So this is Coco and Claire. I shared that in my um, haul with you all. So I'm just going to try and see what it looks like with this in on my nail. Like, I just want to see if this would be okay the color wise and see if I like it to add a little bit of dimension to my nail. I think it's okay. Um, and then I'm going to do this one. Okay. So I do that. I don't, it can go wherever. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. I don't really know. You know what? I don't like that. It does not go with that green. You know what? We're going to just do it without it this time. There's enough shimmer from the nail polish itself that I think it's going to be okay. But I do want to file these before I mess with them more. I'm just sitting here filing these to make sure they're shaped up nice and that they look good. 
and I'm just wanting to make sure that when I file them, they have a good shape and everything looks good. It's too hard to do it with it under that camera. All right, there's that. And I'm gonna wipe them off and then we're gonna do some stamping on them. But I am going to, on all of these, I'm gonna clean them. I'm gonna put a matte coat on them because then when I stamp, if it makes a mess, it doesn't stain my white. So if I needed to file it off, then it's easier to clean up. So now I've cleaned it up and filed them so the shape is good for me. So now I'm going to put a matte top coat on them. So that way that when I stamp, they're protected. And then I think I'm going to keep these matte anyway. I want and whenever I start doing my nails it always changes like I'll see something and then I'll be like no I don't want that on my nails or I will do it and not like it so then I will change the plan now I want these matte at this point that could change so I will show you so they look glossy now but when I put them under and cure them then they're gonna come out when I wipe them they're gonna be matte this is just a matte coat from Amazon again, so sometimes I get stuff there too because there's I order from all over the place. I don't think that I am going to use these. See, like I said, I pull all this stuff out, but then sometimes I don't even use it just because sometimes you get an idea in mind and then that's doesn't it doesn't work out. So, like I said, I'm going to do this tree and then I may do some mistletoe, but I'm not 100% sure on the other nail. I just, I think I'm gonna just stick with trees is what is gonna happen. Cause like I said, I had an idea in mind, but then now I'm thinking about what I really want and yeah, see if it goes. It's gonna be shiny, but then it'll dry matte. So see how it is. Once you wipe it, it gets shiny, but then when you, it dries, it's matte. So that is matte now. And then once I gotta wipe all that off. So I'm gonna start with this one with the darker color and then we'll put this over in lighter. So that's what we're gonna try, okay? So I'm gonna get my stuff ready to go. Even though this stupid stamp is broken, that really makes me mad. Because it's not gonna work exactly how I want. This is a clear jelly stamper sticky pad, so that's how I'm gonna clean my stamp. So let's use color 38. I did shake it up. So I gotta be kind of quick about this, so we'll see how this does. Again, the stinking camera is right in front of me. So I don't know how this is gonna go. And I don't know if this is the right, oh, I don't think I like, I don't like this color, it's too, it's not the right green I was hoping for. So let's do another color. This one then, yeah, I think hopefully this one's better. Yeah, I like that one. All right, let's do this one. And I'm gonna do it towards me because I want to see it. Okay, there. I want to have it towards me. Except, I don't know if I like, I think that one tree is crooked, so I might fix that. That's better. And then I'm gonna let go, awesome sauce. Okay, now we're gonna do the second part of the stamp and we'll see how this color goes. doing this tree and seeing if it's just the pattern that's not picking up because maybe it's just the design and the glitter I don't know yeah so that one picked up so let's just do this one then because I don't know what the hell to do with that design 
there well that'll work see there we go that's kind of what I wanted so I think it's something to do with the plate I'm gonna have to do some reading on how to get that to pick up because as of now it is just not picking up that isn't the one I wanted to use obviously for this design I wanted to use this one but that's not gonna happen because clearly I tried for 10 minutes to get it to work and there you go. It, sometimes things don't work the way you think and this is the trial and error that you play. So I'm gonna put that matte top coat on it again and it's gonna go and get cured. So we're just gonna use those two then but now I'm gonna clean it all off because I literally made such a massive mess everywhere with these. So now this one I'm gonna do a little differently. So now I know which colors I can use but let's put those over there. And we're going to do this, except just a little bit different. Okay, so now this one I'm going to do, I'm just going to do my tips. And here, oh, that was too far. Too far, too far. I'm going to do a little differently. It's going to be this design twice, but just over the tips of the nail. And I feel like I have to move quickly with this color because I think that's part of this problem is not moving fast enough with this, um, with these colors. I don't really know if I like that. So now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. So I was going to put this co-starring again over it to kind of white it out so you could see it in the background. Now I don't know if this is going to be like exactly what I was thinking it was going to be. So we're going to try it and then like I said, I'm going to see what it looks like before I cure it. I should have probably only done like one. I think I need to just do one of the colors and then I'm gonna put that over it because I think that'll look give me like a better like idea of what I wanna do. Okay, so now let me find my trees. And I don't want the trees facing me. I want so when I have my nail, I want them to be like I want to see my own nails. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do for that. Now, I am going to clean this and then I'm gonna put that white over it. So now there's that. Now let's try the lighter color. Am I gonna like this? I don't know, but we're gonna just keep her moving, okay? So we're gonna do this design up on the top though. I was gonna try the other design but I'm not going to I'm just gonna stick with this one I guess and just try this one over it because I just want it on the sides and like I don't want it all over I just want to pick where I want this to go okay now I need to fix where it got so I don't want it down here Okay, okay, so there's that. I, and I think I was debating on if I'm gonna put a matte coat or put more white over this. What I think I'm gonna do is this. I'll show you here. Is I'm going to float this co-starring just up the top of it a little bit and very, very lightly go over the top of it because I want it to be like an ombre, like it's there, but it's not as bright there. So I'm gonna wipe off more of the excess of that uh, layer on the top part of the nail so it just is more faded. Now you could do your nails in either way, but when I have my hand, I wanna be able to see my design because it's my nail set, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I actually really like that. So I'm gonna cure that and Okay, so that was the second design I wanted to do. I'm going to do this matte so that will change the look of this. So I'm going to take this off. But so it's going to be matte. All I think all the nails are going to stay matte. I like that design. It's that off time where you're like, what, um, what do I want to do on my nails? Because 
it's not Christmas, but I got to look at this. It's not Christmas, but you don't want, like, I what other color do I put? And I wanted to do a longer set because I missed my long nails last week. So I was like, I've got to do something fun. And I do really like greens. Now I might not keep this green on, so just bear with me because I need to make sure this green matches what I have. So that's another thing I always do is look at, does it go with this? And I honestly think this green is too dark. So I am actually going, because I want the color green to match my, my glitter on my thumb, and this one does not. But don't fret, I have lots of greens. And this one actually might be a better one. This is from I don't know if I got this on Amazon. I think I like this one better. So this one, yeah, I do. That's going to look better. And we're going to put those polka dots on it. So I really like that green. So I am going to cure that. I'm going to do another quote of this one. Are the lint-free um, wipes I use I get these off Amazon I will try to link stuff if I can for you if I remember otherwise you can ask me and I'll find the link for you but that is what I use for my nails this is the only product of every I no, I take that back I did try a cheaper product once well you get what you pay for because it was not I had lint all over my nails and I was not a happy camper and then I'm gonna put that matte top coat on again and then I'm going to stamp and then I'll do another matte top coat because we're going to do these polka dots. Awesome sauce. Sorry, I'm going to try to show you here, but. Now, oh, see, I don't think I like that that's not enough. All right, I'm going to do it one more time, but they're not big enough dots for me, and I don't know if I have dots on another plate. So I think these dots and this one are meant to go with, oh, that's not going to work, is it? I think these dots are meant to go with a different, like, set. Yeah, I'm just going to end up dotting these, so let's do that. We'll see how this color is on the nail. So I just take some of the stamping and clear jelly stamper polishes are super um, potent. So like in the color, so I'm just gonna, I just gonna take the dotting tool and literally, if I make a mistake, I just wipe it off and do it again. And I'm just literally going to dot these where I want them. For sure where they dotted on the plate because then that way that it follows that if I can. Oh, shoot. Well, that did not work, but that's okay. I don't care. I don't like that. <laughs> this is the thing about uh, when you do this. It's like you can get frustrated if you don't get your dots in the right spot where you want them. And then what if I do this and I just don't like it either because that could very much happen because that's my personality. Yeah. I don't really know if I like that. See, that's my problem. I do this crap all the time. And I don't like that. So let's go back to the drawing board again. So what I could do is try this color and do like, these are a little starburst kind of. They, they go with this one. I could try this or I could just put like some green, like I could just do one of the tree things over it. I don't really want to do a bunch of small ones. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this and see if I want to put some of those. I might, maybe I'll do like this over it. I don't want it to be too like, I don't want to do like a wrapping one because I don't want to do like Christmassy Christmassy. So I'm going to try these trees. So let's do those and this one. And I think the thing with this glitter is you gotta move really fast because it seems like it wants to not pick up really quick. That one did better. And again, I'm gonna put it 
I'm going to put this where I can see them because I want to see the trees because it's my nail set. You know what I'm saying? Okay. There. I like that. It's very subtle over the green. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. That's what I want. See what I mean? I'm such a wee willy winka when it comes to this stuff. I'm just like, I get so indecisive. But then when I do it, I'm like, yes or no. And I'm, I'm liking this. And I think with this matte, oh, these nails are going to just be pretty. Okay. So even with this being matte, you can still see that we're going to get some of that. It almost, that is really pretty. It's very pretty matte. And again, this is supposed to be matte. I might have to do another coat because this is really coming across as not matte to me. So I think I need to do another coat on there. I'm going to try another coat before I do this one to decide what I want to do in this finger. And then this is done because this is, so this will be my set once I figure out this one. Very green and very tree-ish, right? But that's okay. I feel like I'm nervous not only doing these videos with you, even though I shouldn't, because it's not like I haven't done this most so many dang times before. It's not even funny. Because I have done my nails every week for the last, my daughter's 12, she's gonna be 13, and so I've been doing my nails for about 13 years. I've always done gel and acrylic, even in college, but you know, I've become more, oh yeah, that's better. When I do my nails, I don't stress about it if I hate it because it's like, mm, you only are going to wear them for how many days and then you're going to take them off. So why are you stressing about it? Because eventually they'll come off anyway. And then by usually within a day, I love the design I did. Okay, so here we go. So there is this hand and I'm going to go and do my next hand now. So I feel like there's also, do you see this here? It didn't fill in. I might end up buffing this and fixing this because that stupid thing is going to make me crazy that I can, there's no glitter right here. So I might fix that. But there we go. There it is. What do you think? Like, I really kind of like that. And again, it's green and I like that I put the color over that so it's a little bit more muted. In person, one of those does like come up a little more. I could also buff that and see. I might you know, sometimes I'll change it, so we'll see. I'll be back. already I don't know what's wrong with my new iPhone but I need to take a look at the storage because clearly it's not something isn't going right there you go let me know what you think about this video kind of matte but I enjoy it and it's fun for the week that I'm going to have them so have a wonderful beautiful blessing <music>